by Lillian Scheid. The question: I borrowed ten dollars from my mum and dad each, spent seventeen dollars, and then returned one dollar to my mum and dad each. I had one dollar left. This was the amount I owed to mum and dad. Nine plus nine plus the remaining one dollar equals to nineteen. Why was there a dollar difference from the amount I borrowed from my parents? Step one: You spent seventeen dollars, and the remaining three dollars is in your mum and dad's hands. A total of twenty dollars, no less, no more. Step two: Think about why you only bought seventeen dollars of things, but owed nine plus nine, eighteen dollars, because you still have one dollar in your hand. And now. You use these eighteen dollars to add one dollar, which is meaningless, because this eighteen dollars originally includes this one dollar. Step three. In fact, this is a wrong addition of logical relationship. The equation is wrong. The correct equation should be nine dad and nine mum equals seventeen spent plus one left, but not nine dad plus nine mum plus one left equals nineteen. Further extension. Finally, let me show you the original and enhanced versions of this question. Read this patiently, and you will be able to understand it thoroughly and fool people. Three travelers stayed in the hotel, and the boss charged them thirty dollars, ten dollars each. Later, the boss decided to give them some discounts and gave the staff five dollars to return to the travelers. Obviously, the boss didn't know math and gave a number that could not be divided by three. The smart waiter secretly hid two dollars for himself and returned one dollar to each traveler. Now each customer gets one dollar discount, so each person pays nine dollars, a dollar plus the waiter's two dollars, so it's twenty-nine dollars. But they gave the boss. Thirty dollars at the beginning. So where did the other dollar go? The reading, and after reading it again, they still think it is extremely correct, and read it again. Many careless people don't understand it until they see the answer. They didn't expect it to be so simple. When searching online, the titles are all fun mathematics for first graders, and their self-esteem is greatly hit. <laughs> Where did this puzzle come from in the first place? The most popular saying on the Chinese internet is that this puzzle comes from a New Zealand interview question, and the authenticity is waiting for the rumor crusher to verify. In fact, the history of this problem may be longer than everyone thinks. It can be traced back to at least a mathematic textbook published by the University of California in nineteen. Forty-nine, and、um, the earliest source may be unknown. The success of this paradox is since twenty-seven plus two equals twenty-nine is almost the same as thirty. If the difference is too big, it will inevitably arouse suspicions. The imaginative audience began to imagine before they figured out what was added together. Who knew that the formula itself was wrong? Two dollars was already included in the twenty-seven dollars, and twenty-seven minus two equals twenty-five. What's the money in the boss's hand, which was not less? <laughs> Later, people gave a solution to this puzzle, self-deprecating the original mistake. A few months later. Two of the travelers stayed in the hotel again, and the boss charged ten dollars each, a total of twenty dollars. Later, he wanted to give the travelers a discount, and charged five dollars again. <laughs> Then it was the staff again, but this time he deducted three dollars and gave each traveler one dollar. Now the traveler has paid nine dollars, a total of eighteen dollars, plus the waiter three dollars, a total of twenty-one dollars. Look, the missing one dollar is here. Thank you for listening to my speech. I appreciate all of your effort and time taken to listen to all of the speeches, especially mine. I'm very grateful. Thank you and have a nice day.